tutti and welcome back to a new video. I hope you guys are doing well, I hope your family is doing well and I hope the situation in your country is doing better. Unfortunately in Italy we still have some ups and some downs so we cannot really tell if the situation is improving or not but I guess we shall wait and see what happens next. Hopefully we're going to go back to our normal life very soon. In today's video I'm not going to bring you a grammar lesson but I'm going to have a recipe lesson so we're going to cook together. What we are making today is a risotto ai funghi porcini. So that's pretty much a risotto with porcini mushrooms. It's a first course that I really like and that I make often. I usually love to make a risotto because uh, you have the possibility to change it up a lot and try different uh, recipes uh, and uh, experiment a little bit. Uh, keep in mind that this one is not uh, an official recipe or it's not the official way to do it. It's simply the way I do it and that I personally like. Of course, uh, you can change it uh, up to your own preferences or how you prefer. I don't know which one of us has a different way to prepare a meal. So yes, this is not the official recipe, it's just simply the way I do it. But now it's time to start cooking. I will show you step by step the recipe on a how to make a very tasty risotto ai funghi porcini. Okay, here we are in the kitchen with my little pot over there with uh, the broth boiling inside. Inside the broth I put some carrots, celery, onion, salt and pepper and water and I made it boil for an hour. Remember to keep the broth boiling throughout the whole process. Let's move on to our ingredients. Here we have some dry mushrooms that we must clean and wash before and then some parsley, some onion, some butter and some carnaroli rice which is perfect for this. You can also use fresh mushroom of course. Once washed you need to put the mushroom into some water and let them soak until it becomes soft. Then we slice the onion until it becomes super thin because it has to be like that otherwise the risotto doesn't come out nicely. Turn on the fire until low to medium heat then we cut a slice of butter and we put it inside our pan. I know many people use a pot to make uh, the risotto, but I prefer to use the pan, I really like it better. And then we leave the butter over there until it melts down and we add the onion. Once there we stir the whole thing until the onion becomes transparent. Remember, don't let it turn brown because otherwise the rice wouldn't come out nicely. Then we add in the rice. Here we have a portion of two to three people we like to eat a lot. And uh, we keep stirring everything. Then we add half a glass of white wine and we let it evaporate. It is very important to stir throughout the process to make it evaporate nicely. Once evaporated, you turn on the timer for 16 minutes if you like the risotto al dente. If not, you add a little bit more. Since the wine is evaporated, we need to add the broth to keep the rice wet and not dry. It never has to become dry throughout the process. As I told you before, it is essential that the broth is boiling throughout the whole process. Remember that the water level has to remain to the same level of the rice, so the rice doesn't have to be covered by the water or the rice doesn't have to come out entirely from the water. So a little mix like this will be perfect. Then we start cutting our mushroom into medium chunks. They don't have to be cut neither too big nor too small. Pretty much like this, until we get uh, all our pieces together ready to be added. One little secret is to keep the water that we used to soak the mushroom at the beginning and we add it throughout our cooking process. This will give an extra taste to the rice. And then it's time to add the porcini mushroom and of course we will keep stirring. 
It is really, really important that the rice creates some starch because that what makes the rice creamy and thick as we like it. Here in Italy we say that parsley looks good with everything and taste is good with everything so we will add a little bit of it this inside of the rice to make it a little bit fresher and at the same time to give some color to the rice. Now it's time for pepper and salt. As you can see I'm struggling with the pepper thing, it's really really hard. And you add the salt and the pepper uh, up to your own taste. Okay, so timer is over and we need to turn off the fire and we add an extra slice of butter. This is essential for our mantecatura, that means to make it creamier and creamier. So we stir until it is melted and then we add some parmigiano reggiano. Again, here it's up to your preference, you can add as much as you want, uh, I don't like to exaggerate. Finally, it is time to serve it and to plate it. We prepare a little portion for a person and then once it's ready we add a little bit of parsley. This will make it even more colorful and nicer and of course a little bit fresher as well. Our risotto ai funghi porcini is ready. Now go get yourself a glass of wine and buon appetito! Okay, here we are. I hope you guys enjoyed the recipe and especially I really hope that you found it clear, useful and if you have any questions, of course, you can ask me. Let me know if you try to make it or if you already made it yourself. It's been a while since the last time that I posted a recipe, so I really wanted to make one and since we all are in lockdown, almost all of us, I think we are spending a lot of time working, cooking, eating and hopefully resting also. So let's take advantage of this time to learn something new and uh, to experiment uh, with uh, the hobbies that we have and that we like. I hope you guys liked the video and if you did please give it a like and I will see you on the next one with a new grammar lesson. Take care and stay safe. See you next time. Ciao!